was never the plan to put a 606 in a Puma because the uh, last billing convoy, when we were going around the uh, Guinness World Record attempt, the oil pump for my uh, Puma blew up and chatted and went around the engine. After that, I uh, had managed to get a new Puma engine and fit that in, uh, run it in for 500 miles. After another 500 miles later, it misfired and blew a hole through the piston. So that's two Puma engines in. I thought, I'm not going to put another Ford engine in this and I have a couple of options. I can either do the BMW swap or the 606. And at the time, I don't know if anyone's done one now, but no one could, did an adapter to the Puma gearbox for the M57. So four months on after that engine rebuild, 606 is in. Stock EDC pump running the DSL1 controller from uh, Belder Gilson. That means you can tune the electronic pump with your, uh, with your laptop rather than a screwdriver. Uh, six millimeter with a HX35 with a smaller exhaust housing twin scroll on a tubular manifold. It's running between 300 to 350-ish. It pulls at about 1,900 RPM. Puma gearbox is taking, taking a beating. It, it, I think it's strong box. It's very suited to the engine because of the torque curve. No slipping, no, no weird smells. This is its second show, second long journey. Uh, first show I did Kelmarsh, and uh, it sat on a ramp after that while I did my exhaust. It's a three inch straight through system with a side exit, fully stainless TIG welded. Interior, the seats are uh, replica Recaro's, uh, powerful UK, got them from the last show. Momo steering wheel with quick, quick release, leather dash covers, obviously it's still a Puma, so keep the Puma dash. It's still a van, so it hasn't got any seats in the back yet. Managed to get a car kit with the bolts deleted on them, so it's a bit smoother. Full internal cage, external cage, SVX style. Cage right around, it's dead safe inside. It's one of those conversions that you can walk past and then have a double take because it looks like it should be in. Very much work in progress, but it's getting there. <laughs> I love it. I, I, I think I definitely made the right choice with this swap and I'd encourage any other person to do it. I won't say it's better than any other engine conversion but it's new waters really, not many people do it.